All right, folks, we are getting set to get underway. Your Tuscarora Tomahawks on to the floor. I have last game's roster, and the Tonawanda Braves were nice enough to send me a roster. Thank you very much, Ashley. They sent an email out. Everybody in this Can-Am League has been absolutely amazing. Everybody bends over backwards to make sure we can get this done. Without the Can-Am League and like James and Ron and the guys that really go out of their way, Chris, to have made this happen, it wouldn't be so. Thank you very much to everybody. I really appreciate it. And we will be live in three minutes on lacrosse tv unfortunately they do not wait for me i wish they would wait for me and take it a little more serious when i say it but i bet you if i asked they probably would unfortunately we're always you know running and getting set up to stream just on time because that's kind of the way the lacrosse world operates is we're getting stuff and they are about set to face off i'm hoping we can wait another minute or two it's so funny everywhere else in bro lacrosse they are late and now all of a sudden when we want them to uh to start on time so we can do a stream now everybody's early all of a sudden and the face off is taken underway and it's picked up by your tomahawks work at the ball we got jimmy chadwick up top with it feeds it across chadwick had oh chadwick couldn't get a handle on it we turn the ball over to the tomahawks or to the braves i'm sorry but no, see, I knew what was going to happen. Jimmy Chadwick has the ball again, and here he comes. All right, he works it around. Ferguson with it, looking for a man out front. He's got a cutter, gives it up top to Nick Miller. Nick Miller driving in. Nick Miller takes a shot, misses just wide left, and it's bouncing back, and we're going to have a breakaway going the other way. And he beats him on the first shot of the game. I'm sorry, I do not have a number one on my roster for the Braves, but a nice goal. Well, you see, they missed the, uh, missed the shot there, comes off the board, and he just flies up. Throws a little pump fake, holds him over there, and he's able to beat Dylan Sprints. Nice goal, number one. Sorry, I do not know your number. All right, and the Tomahawks get the draw. Tyler Kahn throws it up. Streety has it. Streety down low, rips the shot. I believe we're going to get a reset of the shot clock. He hit the net. No, they do not. Must have missed right around the backside. Oh, Baker print up, shoots it. It goes off the pipe and then goes out. So they're going to get the possession and they get a reset of the shot clock. Chadwick has it, throws it down to Streety. Streety driving down low. Starts spinning back up top. Finds Kent Baker print up on the far side. Driving down low. Gets a screen from Ferguson. Steps in. Hands free. Oh, tries for a quick stick on the back door with Chadwick. They're not able to connect. Trying to get the goalie moving. Chadwick steps in. Makes a move. Spins. Throws it across. Ferguson has it. Steps in. Hands free. Shoots. And a save. Rebound out front. And it's picked up by the Braves. Here come the Braves up the floor. We got Anthony D'Amico is 14. Sorry, guys. It'll take me a little bit to get the Braves numbers, but here we go. Working it around on the near side. Shoots it. Dylan Sprints with the blocker save. Gets his hand on it. And he comes working up the floor. Oh, he gets blasted in the back and the ball goes down. And the Braves get it back and they are coming up the floor quickly. Brent Logan with the ball. Calling for the rest of the offense to come on. You see he's playing with a wooden stick. That's one of the Can-Am things is they are still allowed to play with the Woodies. Very nice is where the sport came from. In honor of that, it is so nice to see the wooden sticks are still played with. And he spins, he beats his man. Diving across the crease, but he goes into the crease and Sprint saves it anyways. Doesn't matter. I believe this is Henry with the ball. I'm starting to get most of the Tomahawks guys kind of figured out from how they look. It's the nice thing about doing several of these games. Streety has it. Back to Henry. Henry cycling around the top. Hands free, rips a shot, and we get a save. Got a fast break, and nice change. They get out on the floor. They still get the shot. We get a reset. 
Ball's down, and the Braves pick up the loose ball. They did not get a reset. I'm sorry. It looks like they missed the net. Working around with the ball. Near side, driving in, beats his man, gets a shot, and Sprentz makes a save. Ball bounces across. Braves working their way in. Gates Abrams has it. Gates driving in. Abrams spins. Draws the double team. He's looking for the guy, and he finds him wide open at the top. Rips a shot. I believe misses. And we're going the other direction. Ball's down in the corner. Seven left on the shot clock. The Braves probably just going to toss it down to the far side. Make him run down for it. And they do. Kind of just shoots it down at the net. And here come your Tomahawks back up the floor. Jimmy Chadwick starting with the ball. Down on the near side. Goes in. Spins. Working in the ground. Throws it up to Kemp Baker. Put up at the top. Now Ferguson has it on the far side. Ferguson steps in. Passes up to Miller. Miller rips. And a nice save. The rebound is picked up by the Braves. Go Abrams is the goalie for the Braves. Go Abrams played in the NLL. He was, uh, I believe, the Riptide goalie, and I think he was a backup for the Swarm for a little while this year, and now we have him in the Can-Am League. Tons of NLL talent in this league, and the Braves come in, spinning around. Nice give and go. Oh, almost, but nice defense. Dan Niknowski, and he stays on him. They try a little behind the back, not able to connect. And they're going to start with the ball. Tomahawks working their way in. Steps in, drives down low, passes it to Streety. Streety throws it up top. Rips a shot, misses just wide. Steps, uses the screen, shoots, misses just wide left. Rebounds down. Loose ball still down. We're going to get a push in the back. And we're going to give the ball back to the Braves. I believe that's Cam Seneca with the ball, 22. Threw it across. Owen Hill is 66. Owen Hill has it. Throws it across to the back door. Wow. Have to take a look at that one again later. Oh, tries the long pass, unable to connect. Oh, beautiful. I didn't even see that. Gets the rebound. That's the beautiful thing about replay and being up here. Oh, and we got a great look at that save. And you see him throw it down. Long outlet pass, and this doesn't even end up actually connecting. Ball comes down, bounces out to him. Oh, man, and he's able to beat Go Abrams. What a play. Excellent job by the camera person keeping up with that. Thanks, Crafty Beach. And the Braves with win possession. Working around. Dolak with it. Little underhand toss. Shadow Jonathan feeds it down. Now he's cutting across to the 60, driving in. Grayson ground. Ground with it, throws it up top. Quick stick on the back door, not able to connect. Possession is now Tomahawks, and they come flying down the floor. Oh, tries to hit Jimmy Chadwick. Unable to connect, and the Braves get possession of the ball. Brett Logan with it. Coming up. You're very welcome. We got Gaudette in the chat. 4456. We got a three of his. Uh, String of his highlights from Battle on the Barge. You get a chance to watch. He was playing for the Collar City Kings there. And two driving down in. Dolak still with the ball. Passes it up top. Camp Seneca just kind of throws it down. And here come the Tomahawks back up the floor. Corey Becker has it. Throws it up. Nick Miller. Across to Ferguson. Ferguson rips the shot. Save Abrams. And the ball's down front, but it's picked up by the Braves. And here he comes on a fast break. Oh, he catches that somehow. And decides to save the possession. Smart move. As they work it around, nice play. Sturgis Sundown. 
Working it around on the near side. Passes up top. Ground off the bench. Feeds it over. Hill. Hill has it. Hill moving in. Passes one more time. And Logan misses just wide left. Ball's picked up by Henry. Henry passes it out. They start moving their way. Chadwick has it. Little spin move. Beats his man. He's in there. Rips the shot. And Abrams makes the save. And here come the Braves back on the offensive side of the floor. The Braves are 7-0. Our, actually, it's more than that now, I'm sure. They uh, have had a great run. Gate eight, Abrams has the ball working his way down low. We've got a penalty there. Got up a little high. Abrams shrugs it off, keeps possession of the ball. I believe that's on Garlow. Abrams looking for somebody. Passes it. Ball goes down. They're going to let Tomahawks take possession of the ball. And we will start the power play. Oh, I was hoping we were going to see it over the top, but we did not. All right, and we get set to see the Braves power play. Got Cam Seneca over to Gates. Seneca. Hill has it. Back to Seneca. Seneca acts like he's going to shoot. Does a nifty little pass there. To the elusive number one. On the fast break and they don't have numbers oh but he splits his dead nice move unfortunately Ben Woodbury kind of loses it not quite able to score Logan Monroe still battling for the ball down low he's got three Braves he's fighting for with it and the Braves come up with the ball and here they come Cam Seneca has a minute and a half left on the power play Seneca over to Hill Hill passes it down low back up to Hill Logan has it. Logan acts like he's shooting. Hits the man on the back door for the quick stick and not able to connect. And a fast break coming the other way. Rips the shot. It gets soaked by one of the defensemen. Fights for the ball, but it's picked up by the Braves. Under a minute in the power play. So far, I don't know if they've gotten a quality shot. They've had a couple of... Uh, Nice attempts. They've had that quick stick on the back door that I think got on sprints. Braves working it around. Hill has it up to Abrams. Abrams steps, rips the shot, and beats sprints. Here you see on the power play, they're working it around top. And you see they bring them out off the post. See, Abrams is out, so he has to come out, and he tries to cheat, and as he goes to step, they pull him into no man's land, and he's not able to hold out of the post. Nice job, Abrams. Good job with the power play. It is now a power play goal. It is now two to one. Oh, nice move, Woodbury, for the ball. Jimmy Chadwick has it on the side, drives in. Passed it across, not able, oh, not able to connect, and Logan is a loose ball vacuum. He picked it up. Sprinting down the floor hard, D'Amico to Seneca. Passed it across. The elusive number one. Nice defense. And Garlo has the ball. Garlow passes it down low. Chrysler. Chrysler's looking for a man. Hits Garlow back up top. Garlow steps in hard, takes a shot, bounces back off the back of the net, off the end boards. We've got a reset as the Braves pick the ball up. Fighting for it down low is Logan Nelson. Great ride. And we're getting close to 10 seconds with the shot clock reset. Shot clock shows 10. But must be that doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get confused with some of the leagues. And Sprints gets it. Pass it over. Nikowski to Chadwick.
Working the bar on the far side. Nice little shuffle pass to Miller. Rifles it over to Corey Becker, who takes a shot. Becker gets the rebound up top. Miller has it. Gets a screen. Drives in, gets another screen. Throws it back up top. Quick shot. And the ball scooped up by Streety. Oh, as he gets laid out. Nice try, Streety. And a breakaway the other way. It spreads with a huge save. All right, Chadwick has it. Miller to Ferguson. Ferguson driving in. Gets a screen from Kemp Baker print up. Decides to take it himself and shoot. And Miller picks up the loose ball. Drives in. Pretends a shot. That ends up taking it. And it's saved by Abrams. Ooh, throws it up. Neenan. Who gives the ball to Owen Hill? Owen Hill throws it down. I don't have a number eight either. Sorry, guys. Oh, nice defense. Knocked the ball down. And he's flying up the floor on a breakaway. Trying to do it all himself. Nice save, go Abrams. That was Dan Nitowski. Or Nitkowski, sorry. And driving in is Cam Seneca. Looking for somebody out front. Great defense. He forces him down low. He's got no angle out there. And they work the ball up top. He feeds it over. Owen Hill with it. Moves around. Beautiful little move and a beautiful save. Sprints gets his glove on it. And the rebound is picked up. We get a fresh shot clock. Cam Seneca has it. Throws it across to the elusive number one to Owen Hill. Hill moves. Nice little back feet. Oh, my goodness. Sprints. Wow, Sprints shuts down Logan Nelson. Nice play. And Jimmy Chadwick has it on the near side. Oh, takes a shot. Glances right off Abrams. And Miller scoops up the rebound. Working it around out of the far side. Driving it hard. Gets a screen. Throws it across. Tries to hit Chadwick on the back door. And the pass is picked up by Lee Abrams. Abrams looking for somebody to give the ball to. Rolls it and then runs off. See, that's how that white box works over there on the side, folks. As long as you're in it when the guy comes out. Gates Abrams spins. Dunks and sprints. Shuts him down. Loose ball down front. It's going to be picked up by the Tabahawks. And we've got another breakaway, folks. And instead, he decides to spin out. But look at the pressure. We've got two of them over there. Forces him in, but he spins and beats both. Throws it across to Ferguson. Is not able to connect. Nice play. But now we're going the other way. Gates Abrams has it. Driving in down low. Oh, man, he rips the pipe. Off the pipe. Oh, my goodness. Those of you watching on Cross TV, that's how most of these games have gone so far. I believe it's actually two to two to one. I might be wrong. It's it's so much happens. It's hard to keep up with. I believe they pulled up ahead with the uh, power play goal. But Owen Hill has it on the far side. Spins around to the top. Still has it. Driving in, looking for somebody out front. Spins all the way around to the back. Hits Gates Abrams out front, and he throws it over the top. Four, three, two left on the shot clock. He misses, and the ball's gonna go to the Tomahawks. Chadwick starts with it. Runs down low. Chadwick steps in front. Nice little give and go with Miller and go Abrams there to make the save. I was clipping the last save replay when that happened. I did try to get another look at it. Hopefully we can see it in a second. And with the delayed penalty, they pull their goalie. It'll be a six on five. Very similar to hockey for anybody new watching this on lacrosse TV as far as that goes. Cam Seneca looks to hit his man in the back door. And the ball is picked up by Ryan Kidd. He 
Illegal cross check he called. Did you see the number? Was it 33? Oh, 63. It's going to be Nick Miller. So, for two minutes or less, we will see the power play with Gates Abram starting it up top. Cam Seneca has it. Passes it down low, back up to Seneca. Goes in, Abrams to Owen Hill. Hill back to Abrams. Abrams nifty behind the back. To Seneca, one more pass across. Not able to, to follow through. Nice defensive slide, but now it's back up top to Abrams, who steps in, rips it, and a beautiful save sprints right off the blocker. And Seneca working in the round. Tries to hit Owen Hill on the back door. Ball goes down, but Hill picks it up off the boards. Now Abrams has it, rips a shot. Hill picks up the uh, ball off the end dasher. Throws it across for the quick stick. Beautiful shot, and Sprentz makes the save. And now, with a minute 10 to go in the power play, they can try to eat some clock off, unless they obviously get a chance. Mitch Streety has it. Streety down low. Seven left on the shot clock. Drives in. Three, two. Ball's down. Nice job, Tonawanda. Knocked the ball down. Number one scoops it up. And he's coming up the floor. Owen Hill up top. A little behind the back. Flip to one. With the shot, nice save, Sprentz, and Sprentz scoops up the rebound. Such a huge part of this is trying to gather the rebound, deflect it to the outside, and beautiful outlet pass with the wooden stick. Oh, man, almost hits him on the back door. He does get it that time, and a beautiful save, Abrams. All right, and now they're going to work it around a little bit. Ferguson has it, eight seconds left on the penalty. And Jimmy Chadwick has it. It is now even strength, 15 left, 14, 13 on the shot clock, over to Ferguson. Ferguson, nice spin move, beats one, good slide, pushes him out, takes the angle away, spins back around at the angle, tries to hit Chadwick, and a nice stop by 14, Anthony D'Amico. Great pick, bud. And here we go. He brings it up the floor and wisely gives it to the offense. And now the score up to date, it is 2-1. to one. They were able to kill that penalty. We have another delayed call, though, I believe. And Cam Seneca has it up top. Now back over to Hill. Back up to Seneca. Seneca rips it, and a beautiful save sprints off the glove. And they're going to take a water break for the goalies. What do we got? 44, illegal slash. And real quick, a word from our sponsors on the water break. Yo, what's up? This is Stevie Johnson. Make sure y'all come to the Ram High Club on the Tuscarora Reservation. It's one of my favorite because they handle biz, have fun, and repeat. I'll see you there. All right, thank you very much to the Ram High Club. If you are ever in the area of the Tuscarora Reservation, definitely stop by. They've got a uh, beautiful smoke shop out front, Randy Smoke Shop, and then they are in the background. Great place to get gas. Very near Niagara Falls. Anybody who doesn't know, Tuscarora is a uh, nation just outside of Buffalo and Niagara Falls. Um, all of these teams in Can-Am, for, especially for those new viewers watching on Lacrosse TV, this is mainly based on the um, Indian nations through central and northern New York. It spreads across Canada and kind of goes from central to western New York, really, with not much over in the, uh, the east as far as that goes. But we are now back underway. And we are going to see the power play again. And you definitely know that Coach Chrysler is not going to be very happy with this going on again. Uh, you definitely don't want to give these guys that many chances. There's a reason they're undefeated. They've got a great offense. They've got Go Abrams back there. It's hard enough to score on them. You don't want to put yourself behind too much. And we work it around on the power play. Camp Seneca has it. Abrams down low. Abrams has it back. Flips it up top to Seneca. One more pass over. If anybody knows who number eight is, please uh, let us know in the chats. Abrams has it. One more pass. Abrams steps in, rips the shot. Sprints makes a save. Slides right over. 
Sprint scoops up the rebound and he looks for the outlet pass. Great pressure, get, but Ben Woodbury has it. Woodbury dishes it off. Ben Austin has it. Ben Austin looking for a man. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. They will try to probably run it as low as they can. Obviously, they'd love to get a reset. Here comes Nick Miller with it, driving in. Miller steps in, takes a shot, goes off the defenseman, and safely to the side. And now the ball is scooped up by the Braves, and here they come. Quick shot, and Sprentz makes a quick kick save as the first period comes to an end. We will be back in approximately 10 minutes for second period action. Thanks, everybody, so much for joining us. Sorry, the audio was gone. Thank you very much, John from Lacrosse TV. So you missed everything I just said. So at least you got to watch that. But I was saying it's an absolutely amazing venue here. Uh, they do a great job. They've got it really packed in. We've had a bunch of fans. Uh, so Tonawanda is very close, and they traveled well. There is definitely a bunch of them. We've got the junior kids up here in the minors. And this weekend on Saturday, we're going to play Junior B, and it will be streaming on Lacrosse TV. If nobody knows what Juniors is, it's actually a college-aged program. It's more of a, a hockey thing is how I knew it growing up. But it's uh, young men up to age 21, and it is basically if you're going to be a professional hockey player, you have to go through the Juniors program. And a lot of, is to be said with if you're going to play in the NLL, something similar to that. It. It's a, it's, it's super fun, super athletic. These guys are playing for pride. They're out there. Some of these guys are playing for scholarships. They're playing, trying to get put on pro teams. They're young men in the, uh, you know, prime of their, their athleticism. So it's, it's an awesome event and can't wait for it. And the ball won by the Tomahawks. And here they come. Thank you very much for telling us to go and hear us in the chat. We really appreciate that. Uh, and that's how we fix our problems. And there is 40 seconds left on the penalty kill for your Tomahawks. As 16 works the ball down into the corner. He's content to eat as much of that shot clock as he can. Five seconds left on the shot clock. You'll see him work the way in, rip a shot like that. He misses, so it doesn't matter. The possession will end up getting turned over, even if they could pick up the ball. So he did not roll the ball. He just stood there to stop. Could somebody let me know in the chats if you guys can hear me again? I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. And we are on. Awesome. Here comes Cam Seneca. I'm sorry, that was Owen Hill to Seneca. Now Owen Hill has the ball. No, he does not. The ball is taken by Tyler Kahn. Nice little pass. And Tyler Kahn beats Seneca on a breakaway. Oh, nice save, Abrams. Wow. Go, Abrams. Beautiful play. Nice move, Kahn, but... Abrams is tough to beat, and they throw it across. As they work it around to the top, they're now on the far side. Spins down low. Looking for somebody out front. Passes it over to Hill. Oh, my goodness. Hill's now driving in. Nice shot. And okay, and Sprints has it. And we've got a delayed call on the Braves. And Nelson Logan working with the ball. Passes it up top. And the goalie is now pulled, so they essentially will be six on five, and we will finally get to see the Tom Ox power play. Chadwick rips a shot. Abrams makes a save. Rebounds picked up by Sturgis Sundown. Two minutes slashing. I did not catch. Oh, it's 84, two minutes slashing. So that's... Shadow Jonathan. Ferguson has it, throws it up top. Corey Becker, Kent Baker print up. Up top to Kent Baker print up, who takes a shot and beats Goa Abrams, ties the game. Beautiful. They're working it around on the power play. Gives it up to him. Ferguson steps in. You see they keep Abrams off the pipe, moving side to side. You want him to try to lose track. Beautiful play. And a goal. Can't make a print up. And it's all tied up at two now. Tomahawks definitely looking to break the unbeaten streak of the Braves. And Jimmy Chadwick picks up the ball. Bounce pass across to Baker Printup. Who starts running in? 
Gets a screen. Steps to the middle. A little behind the back flip. 16. Picks up the loose ball in the corner. Driving in. Dives in. A nice save. Abrams. And you can hear him counting it off. Thank you very much, Zach, in the comments. Really appreciate that. And the Braves come down on offense. Owen Hill running in. He's got his hands free. Rips a shot. And Sprints saves it. But the ball is still down out front. And, oh, a little miscommunication there. And now it's picked up by the Tomahawks as Dan Diktowski coming down the floor. He's looking for an outlet. He decides to beat run down in. Pass over to Ferguson. Ferguson has it down onto the side. Looking for a man out front. Ferguson coming across. Steps in. Hands free. Feeds it over to Miller. Miller, nice little move. Beats his man. Passes it up top. And the pass is picked by number one. And look at him coming down the floor. Nice little swim dodge over the top. Takes a shot. Sprints makes a save. Rebound almost picked up by Grayson Ground, but it Sprints ends up with it instead, and he passes it up to Ferguson. Got a lot of Braves fans in here as Ferguson works his way over. Passes it to Chadwick. Chadwick runs in, steps, tries to, oh, nice little pass. It looked like he was shooting. Quick stick and a nice save. Go Abrams. Oh, and beautiful work, and Jimmy Chadwick ends up with the ball, and they've got a fresh shot clock now down in the offensive zone. 16 has it. Oh, I'm sorry. I was on the wrong side of the floor. Shot, Abrams with a save, and the rebound this time is scooped up by Dolick for the Braves, and he comes flying down the floor. Dolick has it, hits his man coming off the bench, number one. Bounce pass. Owen Hill. Driving in, Owen Hill gets his hands free, shoots. Picks up his own rebound off the end boards, driving in. Oh, man, what a play, Owen Hill. Better save sprints. And they work it around to the, oh, big hit. Ball is down. Hill, wow, nice little flip and a beautiful catch by one to get possession. We get a fresh shot clock. Yeah, we got a penalty right there. Oh, he puts him in his guard. It's a jiu-jitsu match. Let's see what his guard's like. I don't know, bud. I don't know if I'd want to be on my... Oh, and he just kind of stands up off it. Great restraint shown by number 40, who I have is Chad Leading Fox. I don't know. Usually when they go down like that, if he's going to lock you in his guard, maybe he's doing something like that. He might have been putting him in an arm bar. Maybe going for a triangle, which I've never seen in the lacrosse fight, but it could happen. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff I see out here with the behind-the-back passes and the dives and everything else we get. All right, so what are they calling, hon? You got it figured out? That is one thing. We need a mic for the ref. That's our uh, the next BS Productions upgrade, maybe. Mic up a couple players, get them running around. Should be a blast. Oh, that sounded expensive. Somebody just dropped their phone on the bleachers. And Kent Baker Printup working the ball on the far side. So we're going to play four on four. This is some of the best lacrosse. Wide open space. You see the athletic players really do well here. Transition players. Miller gets it, throws it across. One more pass over to Kent Baker Printup who misses just wide right. And the ball comes all the way down. Sprint steps out. Little flip up to Miller. Miller rifles it down. Oh, goes off of number two's foot. Dolak with his aim and a beautiful low. What a goal. Well, I see Sprint tosses it up here. Beautiful. Little move over, and he, Garlo, I believe that was, the big man out front. Nice play. Beautiful feed from Kent Baker Print up over to Garlo. Sorry, our scoreboard camp keeps getting knocked a little bit. We've got a uh, bunch of very excitable little fellas on the side of us. So, 
We now have the penalty marker up. Do they call something afterwards? One, two, three, four, and four. No, it's still four and four. Dolick has it. Looking for somebody coming off the bench, and he finds Hill. Hill turns, rips a shot, soaked up by the defense, or maybe Gates, Abrams, that could have been. Get him, Chad. I love the comments. It's so awesome to see everybody in there. And for those of you watching on Lacrosse TV, if it's your Fox first box lacrosse game, you're in for a treat. Working his way in. Nice little give and go. Trying to hit Hill. Stick was knocked out of his hands, and he goes the other way. Nice little flip up, though. I love the sportsmanship. There's a lot of that here. And he's driving in. Dan Dutowski tries to hit Chadwick. Loose ball goes down into the corner, and it is instead won by Brett Logan. Oh, we got a guy down. And he's up working at the round. Sorry, folks. That's why we had you in the small screen. I was just trying to fix the replay, but here we go the other way. And the ball is down into the corner. And it's picked up by Logan. Throws it up top to D'Amico. D'Amico, little fake pass, holds on to it. And gives it off to Logan. Is there a couple of tens? I might have that screwed up. Nice pass over. Beats his man, he's driving in. Nice shot, the big save sprints. Shuts him down to the doorstep, but he picks up his own rebound on the far side, nice move. So this could be Johnston or ground with the ball. And they're back to even strength. Drive it in. Nice defense. Forces him out, Ryan Kidd. Barely an angle shot. Sprints takes care of that without much of a problem. And here comes Ferguson. Throws it up. Chadwick has it. One more pass over to Becker. Becker feeds it up top. Back to Becker. Baker Prentup has it. Over to Miller. Miller steps in. Back up top. Behind the back feed. And a shot. A nice save. Go Abrams off the right glove, I believe. And Becker has it. And we're back to even strength. Chadwick has it down low, and the shot clock, nope. So one rep had the reset. One rep had the reset. They're just trying to spin this around, get it adjusted to make sure. Sometimes the shot clock may or may not get reset, but usually the officials do a pretty good job counting it out, and this time one of them had called the reset, and they just didn't see it. So they're trying to figure out about where the clock should have been would be my guess. Oh, are we doing a penalty too? Did they call somebody? Oh, it's just the two captains, I believe. The two captains coming up. Maybe she's going to keep us posted right down there. I bet you she'll hear it. She'll let us know. All right, as they figure this out. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. If this is your first ever box lacrosse game, I'm sorry it took you this long to find it. It's, uh, I think, the most entertaining sport played on two feet. Oh, we got four on four. Four on four, he's saying. Not sure what happened. Okay. And here we go, working it around on the power play. Henry to Chadwick. Henry has it back up top. Oh, nice pick! And they're coming the other way, and he is flying down the floor. Nice little give and go over the top, and a better save sprint! Oh, and they're going to call... A lot of Braves fans here if you can't hear them all screaming. Okay, and now we are... I don't know how much time is in the penalty. It is four on five. Still one has it on the near side. Owen Hill cutting around through the middle, making moves. 
No look pass down to Hill. Hill spins. Nice defense. Gets a slide, but beats both men. Drives in, sprints. Keeps him over on the angle. And you see Hill can't touch the ball when he's in the crease like that coming out. And now we have the ball coming up on offense. Ken Baker Prinup has it. Okay, and that's back to five. Pass up top. Nick Miller rips the shot. I believe that got deflected off the defense. And you see Sprints come out and get the rebound. The ball flies on this concrete floor. If you've ever watched it on turf and never seen it on concrete, this is a treat. This is so fast. It's hard to keep up. I don't know for about the camera person, but for somebody who's watching it or calling the game, it is very entertaining to watch this ball flying around like this. And here they come. Oh, nice move. Ben Austin. And almost a breakaway for Ben Austin, but he still gets the possession and the turnover. Nice job. And he spins around and says, maybe I'll do this anyways. Now he spins around. He's looking for some offense. Looking for a little help. Coming off the bench, and he fires it over to Miller. Nick Miller stepping in. Fires it down low to Chadwick. Garlow, big boy, standing in front of the net, pushing people out of the way. Chadwick runs around. Looking for room. Oh, hits the pipe. I believe we'll try to take a look at that one. Gets the reset on it. Oh, big play. And we've got a three on two. He decides to rip the shot. And it comes out of play. Oh, no, it didn't. Stayed in the glass. Owen Hill with it. Driving down low. Nice little behind the back flip. Gates Abrams somehow holds onto that ball. And great defense. Makes him miss the net. Goes through the crease, I believe, and we're giving possession the other way. And she tells him, just put it down. That's a big thing. They will give you a delay of game call if you do not. Dan Natowski brought the ball up the floor. And now we've got Seth Ferguson with it over to Henry. Henry down low to Miller. Miller thinking about driving in. Miller goes. Nice little give and go with Henry not able to connect. So close. That's what you see in the more talented levels of lacrosse is fast pace. You see him pass into these super tight windows. Amazing defensive pressure by Nick Miller. Staying on him, forcing him. Take a look at it. And he's calling him out. Uh, we were out of the play, so we missed it. Oh, he went through the door. Automatic two-minute penalty. As you can hear, a lot of, lot of Braves fans in the building. Wow, 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 is this exciting. So, your Tampa Hawks, even though they're winning, now the Braves on a power play. A little late getting Chadwick out onto the floor. Gates Abrams has it up top. Gates rips the shot. I believe misses wide right. No reset. And look at the hustle. Oh, a beautiful hustle by Woodbury, but it doesn't matter. Owen oh, Hill runs in, takes a shot. Beautiful glove saved by Sprints. And look at that. Ben Austin. Oh, nice move, Ben Austin. Oh, but look at that stick check by John Dolak. And he comes flying down. Dolak hits his man coming off the bench. Nice grab by his feet. Throws it up to Owen Hill. Oh, you see, one's pretending he's got it. Hill has it, throws it across. It's either Grayson or Johnston. Has it up top. I'm going to go with Grayson. Rips the shot. Oh, I believe that went off a defender. Rebound bounces over to Hill. Hill, quick stick over to Gates Abrams. Not able to connect. And the rebound is picked up by Kyle Henry, who tries for the long pass. Ryan Kidd not able to connect, and we're going back the other way. Owen Hill has the ball. Owen Hill's been on, I believe, this entire power play, so about a minute and 20 seconds so far. 40 seconds left to go, and the penalty kill for the Tomahawks. You see Chadwick and Ken Baker print him up top as the Braves working around the top. Owen Hill throws it up top. Now they start shuffling, and this is where the multiple slides start going, and you leave somebody open like that. Cam Seneca tries a little one-handed pass. I think that was a nice defense, and I don't think he was able to get a shot of the net, but they did give it a reset. Oh! Oh, Chadwick scoops it up. 
And we give the ball the other way. Wow. It's hard to keep up with this, folks. Look at the action. Gates Abrams has it, throws it up top to Owen Hill. Owen Hill stepping in to Seneca. Oh, not to Seneca, to Abrams, then to Seneca. Seneca steps in like he's going to shoot instead pass to Hill. Now Seneca has time, steps in, rips a shot. Ball goes all the way down to Abrams. Abrams rifles it down. Oh, he tries a nifty little spin move, not able to get it, and Streety picks up the ball. And that was the shot clock, I believe, reset, so now we're good to go. Streety running up onto the offensive side of the floor. He's looking for somebody to pass to. Nice trailing check, good pressure. Oh, beautiful. That number one has made a lot of nice plays. He throws it over to Butt. They end up with it, 16 driving in. Nice spin move, beats his man, it looked like. Decides to spin out. Ferguson over to Garlow. Garlow rips the shot. Abrams makes a save. Okay, and here come the Braves again. Looking for his man. Hits him coming off the top. Down to the near side. Oh, nice sick check there. And the ball goes down into the corner. Seven, six left on the shot clock. They're trying to get, oh, nice little spin move and a better defensive play. Knocks it down one. Shot clock expires. Even if Sprentz wasn't there to make the save, which he was, it wouldn't have counted. And the pressure from the Braves knocked the ball down. And here we go the other way again with Cam Seneca. Oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't Cam Seneca. That's John Dolak with the ball. I should know from the tucked in jersey, too. Should be a dead giveaway. Gates Abrams fighting for it down low. Ball still down, comes flying across. And Owen Hill ends up with it. Seneca has it now to Abrams. Abrams down low, big, oh, nice slide. Knocks the ball down. That was 52 Tyler Kahn on the slide. And we're going up onto the offensive side of the floor for the Tomahawk. 16 has it. The near side, I really need to get his name for the next game. Throws it up top. Ferguson, Scott Lane starts running in, spins, he's looking, he gets a screen, decides to keep going, nice little flip to Garlo, Garlo rips the shot, and Abrams able to make the save, and Abrams rifles it down, he's all alone if he can handle it, oh, unfortunately, Brett Logan not able to hold on to the ball, he's got it now, and fires it to the offensive man coming off the floor, oh, nice team communication tells him to let that pass go. Now you see Owen Hill driving in. You got one. Oh, looking for a man cutting through the front. Now spins, gets a pick from Hill. Nice shot, sprints for the save. Loose ball's picked up. That's in the back. Hopefully he's okay. I really do not like seeing those. Dan Dutowski, great player. A lot of hustle, a lot of heart out there. Hate to see him get chopped in the back like that. Sometimes it happens as they're spinning, but it's what it is. They just give him the ball, and we keep moving. All right, let's see it. Corey Becker throws it across, and we get a save, so we're going to keep possession on the Tomahawk side of the floor, and Ferguson starts with it. Ferguson throws it over to Miller. Miller drives in, but throws it to Garlow. Big boy running in. Throws it up top. Chrysler steps in, takes a shot. Ferguson picks up the rebound, throws it back across to Miller. Miller... Back to Ferguson. Oh, my goodness. Go to Abrams. How did you save that? Wow. Nice play. Better save. Wow. Three minutes to go with a one-goal lead for your Tuscarora Tomahawks as they're working it around. The offensive side, he keeps going. Fires it across. All the way back, Miller. Oh, Miller beats his man. Goes in and beats him. Wow. Nick Miller. Wow. You see, they're working it around here, and this is an absolute beautiful play by Lloyd Chrysler, I believe. Yeah, draws in, gets everybody going, and then Nick Miller just beats his man, and before the slide can get there, he puts it over the top. Amazing play, and now it is 4-2 with 2 minutes and 47 seconds left to go, and I am sure the Braves, who have been undefeated to this point, are not happy with the way this outcome is coming so far. But the Tomahawks, when you listen to Coach Chrysler, this is more what he expects from his team. Oh, he beats his man and gets in all by himself. 
Oh, but Sprentz is able to keep his body in great position and takes that one off the chest. And here comes Chadwick. Chadwick uh, flying down. Oh, he hits him coming off the bench. Oh, he left a little too soon. That is one thing they don't always give them to too many men. Sometimes they will just kind of give the ball to the other team. I absolutely love how they do not stop the play here all the time. D'Amico has it up top. D'Amico hits his man coming off the bench. The elusive number one who throws it over to Hill. Hill on the near side. Anybody know who number one is in the chat? Please let us know. Oh, Owen Hill running in 66. Hits Skates. Abram Skates shoots it and Sprint says, get out of here. Streety throws the ball up. Oh, my goodness. They try to get it up there fast. And Henry, I don't know if that one got shut down. You got everybody screaming. They want a hold call there. And they get it as you see him running off the bench. There is definitely a lot of Braves fans here, but I tell you, Tuscora does an amazing job putting on a show here. This is awesome. I love it. I love the concrete. Gates Abrams spins, beats it, and sprints with a big save. Gets that arm up. But now we pick up the ball. We're going to go the other way. They're going to give a hold to the big man, Garlo. Sorry, folks, during the next intermission, I'll hopefully get the other replay working. We run two separate replay systems. We will run that. will clip it immediately, and then we run another one where I try to get all those highlight saves, big hits, and stuff that we can't necessarily play because sometimes the picture to picture is nice, but really I try not to depend on that, and I'd hate to miss a goal while we're on that or miss something big, and we've only got it on a little screen. But here we go, power play for two minutes or less, and they work it around. Hill, Seneca up top. Hill has it, hits Abrams in the middle, and Abrams beats him. Wow. Very fast ball movement. See him working it around. They're drawing everybody over, and then when he comes over to slide, it just leaves him the couple of seconds he needs. Gates Abrams, beautiful finish off a pass from Owen Hill. And it's now 4-3, to three, a minute 20 left to go. Nice movement. He's running up the floor out of zone. Oh, he somehow beats him, and Sprentz makes the save, keeps it out, I think. Oh! We'll take a look at that one later, too. They just give him unsportsmanlike. Unsportsman, like two minutes. So now we have a power play going the other way. And Tuscarora on the power play with a one goal lead and one minute left in the third, or second period, sorry. But so much action, I was already thinking it was a third. But here we go. Henry throws it behind the back over to Chadwick. Up top to Kent Baker print up. Who goes back to Chadwick? They try the quick stick and go Abrams. Slides over, keeping it out. Rebound is picked up by, oh, whoa. Little karate uh, chop there. Harvey with the stick, but they pick up the ball. We're going the other direction. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, and now we will have four on four. This is, as you all know, one of my favorite things to watch. Number one is Vern Hill. Thank you very much, Blaze White, in the chat. I will try to find a pen to write that down, which I usually have. Owen Hill, wide open at the doorstep. Oh, and a beautiful give and go. That's Prince. Woo, saves and then just kind of steps out of the way. Take a look at that one. Very early into the power play. 14 seconds in. Beautiful. And that was Vern Hill. So Owen Hill to Vern Hill, and Vern runs in. Sprints kind of steps out of the way, and you see Vern just runs into the post and takes it out. Thanks very much. So we've got Hill with one and Hill with 66. So Hill to Hill to Hill. And Vern Hill, or I'm sorry, Owen Hill has it on the near side. Pass it up to Gates Abrams. I try to say the first name with a lot of these guys. I know, uh, especially people uh, call me Onondaga. Too. We've got McCoy Abrams, and then you've got several Abrams on the Braves. And Owen Hill has it. Up to Gates, Abrams, over to Cam Seneca. Over to Owen Hill, stepping in. Beautiful one more pass 
and they try for that one more, and sometimes that gets a little too cute, but they scoop the rebound up. Beautiful play, and then a rebound, and a dust shot. Doesn't matter. I believe they said he was in the crease, and that will bring us to the end of the second period. 4-3 to three with your Tuscarora Tomahawks leading the Tondawana Braves, who are undefeated so far into the season. We will be back in approximately 10 minutes. Thank you, folks, very much. Please make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you let everybody at Lacrosse TV know that we like it because if you guys stay and watch it, they will know. I happen to find it my most entertaining flavor of lacrosse. I really enjoy it. I don't think there's anything more exciting to watch personally, but that's just me. I do get some guys are field guys. I just happen to – I like it in here. I don't get rained on. I don't have to worry if it's 1,000 degrees. It's, it's just so much nicer. I'm kind of turning into a fair-weather lacrosse fan, and, and it's so entertaining when you watch it all. I, I don't know how you could ever not want to watch. And the faceoff is won by Streety. Streety throws the ball up. Tomahawks get the rest of the offense out of the floor. So it'll be four on four, which really spreads things out for 40 seconds. Kent Baker Pritiff has it on the far side. So you can really isolate and make moves like that where you come around out front and to save Abrams. So they're going to get a reset on the shot clock. No, no, they did not hit the net. That must have been soaked up by the D. So with 25 seconds left to go in the power, or in the four on four, and then 30 seconds, the Braves will be on the power play. And they're wondering if they're going to take a shot or just try to hold out of the possession. And it does not look like they will. He drives in. Decides he doesn't like what he sees. This time he goes back in, and now they are on the power play for twenty-five seconds. But Garlow has the ball, and he's flying up the floor. Garlow, nice pass up to Ferguson. Ferguson, looking, he's got sixteen on the backside, looking to come around. Goes in, sets the screen, and they pass the ball up to Miller. Miller fires it over. One more pass down low. Ferguson has it up to Chadwick. Chadwick steps in, rips the shot, goes off a couple of defenders, and goes, not a shot on goal, hence the shot clock. Goes off, and we get possession of the Braves, and they're going to say we're restarting. 2-2-2, two, 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 four, six, six on the 50-50. If you're in the area, come down. These games are awesome. And Gates Abrams spins around, driving down low. Defense forces him out, but a beautiful pass. They call no goal for in the crease. All right, guys, we're just kind of taking a look at that. We'll be able to see it in the crease. We've got live action. I'm ready to click back if they start driving in. You guys can take a look at that. I was watching the game, but here you see him pass it over. Ferguson driving in. Nice little bounce pass around. Off the end boards, and we've got a foot race for it. And it looks like nice play. Streety picks up the ball, throws it down. Technically, we got a reset now. It hit Abram's stick. But the Braves get the ball and are now making their way down to the offensive side of the floor. Hill has it. That's Vern Hill with it. Pass it up. If anybody, uh, we've got Nelson Logan rips a shot, and Sprentz takes that one off the chest. Headman pass. Oh, and he tries. But unfortunately, Tyler Kahn could not quite catch up with it. And Goa takes it. And here we come back down onto the uh, offensive side of the floor for the Braves. Cam Seneca has it. He fires it up top to Vern Hill. Back to Seneca. Seneca getting a screen from Logan. He works it across. Owen Hill has it. As the rest of the offense starts to move, he gets a screen. He's looking for the little back flip. Instead, he sits Brack around. Beats his man. He goes in. Hits him by the back door. Not sure if he connected there or not. We'll have to take a look at that one later. Oh, beautiful play by Gates Abrams. And oh, nothing he's going to do about that one. Wow. All right, so you see that first attempt. And then on the pass out, ball gets knocked down. Beautiful, beautiful play by 84. Shadow Jonathan, nice play and a beautiful finish. Sorry, I was checking everybody else's stuff out there. Wow, this is crazy. So much action, and it's all tied up at four. 
We were getting popular all of a sudden. Everybody was trying to watch the replay. All right. Well, while we're doing it, I'm going to take another look at the replay while they're deciding. All right. So there's the first save Sprints makes. But right here, you see it gets knocked down by 84. Beautiful job. Shout out to John. Oh, yeah. And he's one pass, and he's all alone down front. Oh, and hell. Buries it. Nice play. What's that, bud? Thank you. Yeah, we're definitely getting a lot of fans up here that are watching our stuff. It's awesome. We absolutely love it. And so what did they end up calling here? So it's all tied up at four. Two-minute penalty on the Braves, but the ref is holding up four on four. So I'm guessing he took both. We're going to be four on four. We've got Garlo out. Ben Austin. Nick Hen or Kyle Henry. And Ryan Kidd for your Tomahawks. Got Gates Abrams for the Braves. Cam Seneca. Gates has the ball now. Cam Seneca. We've got Burn Hill, number one, and 66 is Owen Hill on the far side. Anybody on the chats want to tell me if uh, Vern and Seneca are related? And, or Owen, I'm sorry. Seneca has it now. Seneca running in, hands free, pass over to Vern Hill. Vern gets a screen from Owen Hill. A little bit too much, he says. And we're going to go the other way. I love the tenacity. You see him stay right on there. Ben Austin, though, maintains it. They're going to get away with whatever the refs will let him. And here comes Ben Austin flying down. Tries a little backflip. Oh, great pick. Clip that highlight for later. And here we come the other way. Ian Dolick has it. Yeah, please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new. Following us here, we really appreciate it. Those watching on Lacrosse TV, we love that we have branched out here and hope we have got some new box lacrosse fans. And we're working away on the far side. Owen Hill has it. He's stepping in. Good defense. Keeping the pressure on. Take a pressure shot, but we get a reset. Sprints gets his foot out there. The ball goes out of bounds, and because it went off the goalie, just like in hockey, we're going to give the ball to Owen Hill. Okay, Owen Hill starting with the ball on the far side. Goes in, tries to spin around his man. Feeds it across. Logan has it. Logan back over to Hill. Hill beats his man. Oh, nice slide. And it goes up top. That was ground or Johnston with the shot. And... Oh, he tries to feed it to him. He's not able to hold on to it. And it's picked up by Ben Austin. Austin spins around. Feeds it over to him. And here comes Nick Miller. Out of the near side. Down low. Tries to drive in. The defense does a good job. Forced him with the angle. Chadwick out front. Not able to pick it up, but he scoops it up off the end boards. He's making his way in. Five, four. Just spins around, takes a shot, picks up his own rebound off the end boards. Oh, my goodness, I thought he had that one. Nice save, go Abrams. And he gets to pick the ball up. And we're starting with it down here. Ferguson has it on the far side. Ferguson makes a move. He's looking. He passed it up top. Leave that Streety, Mitch Streety. 84 with it. Mitch Streety passes it over. We've got Lloyd Chrysler with it. Fed it back up to Streety. Oh. And it gets knocked down and it's a foot race. But he decides to pass it away for the rest of the offense to come out onto the floor. Gates Abrams now has it. Abrams passes it up top. Cam Seneca over to Hill. Back to Hill, up Seneca up top. Behind the back feed to Abrams. Oh, nice move! And a better save, Dylan Sprints!
And he decides to hold on to it. Corey Becker makes a move. A little flip back to Miller. 33 seconds left in the four on four. Miller's got 10 left in the shot clock. He's on Cam Seneca, and they decide to double up. He tries to pass it over to Ferguson, who can't get a handle on it. It bounces all the way back over to Abrams. Abrams, the outlet pass to Seneca. Seneca working his way up the floor. 14 seconds left. 10 now in the four on four. 17, 16, 15 on the shot clock. And they're working it around on the far side. Owen Hill feeds it across to Abrams. Gates Abrams comes in, back over to Hill. Hill rips the shot, misses wide. Ball bounces up and over, but it's going to go all the way back, and Cam Seneca's back there to stop it. And with the shot clock, he just kind of has to leave the ball, and he's going to stand there and not let him take it too fast and get an open run in. Because you will see guys pick it up fast, and hopefully the ref will give him a quick whistle when it's advantageous for them. And Baker Prentup started with it. Give it to Chadwick. Chadwick throws it down one more pass. Chrysler with it. Back to Chadwick. Chadwick driving in. Couple of moves. Goes off the back of the net. Oh, ball down to the end boards. Chrysler knocks it over. Chadwick scoops it up. No, he does not. And it is scooped up by Brett Logan. No. Ball is still down. They're telling him to play on. That shot clock blew, but obviously they said the Braves had it long enough to restart the shot clock. And now, as you see the referee counting, I can't quite hear what he's counting, but he's usually pretty on point. These guys have a lot to do, and they are good. Oh, and now we got a reset. Now the shot clock will be back. I don't have to try to listen to the referee anymore. Ben Austin has it. He's looking for somebody up the floor. He's got Seth Ferguson up there. He passes it to Nick Miller coming off the bench. Miller is flying. He's got numbers. They've got a three on two. Miller, oh, great defense by Ian Dolick. Knocks the ball down and I believe knocks him into the crease. What did he call? Too many men or what? Too many men. Two-minute bench minor. All tied up. 11.30 to go. Wow. And now we've got a power play for the Braves. All right, for the top Hawks. I am sorry. Kent Baker Pritup has it up top. Over to Henry. Henry down low. Chadwick back to Henry. Print up. Over to Ferguson. Back up to Baker Print up. Over to Ferguson. Ferguson rips the shot. Save. Go Abrams. Ball is down. And they're trying to put the pressure on. Nice pressure, and Jimmy Chadwick comes up with the ball. Great hustle by Ferguson and Chadwick to get that ball back. Wow. And now we get a 20 left on the shot clock. Ferguson has it up top to Baker Printup. Throws a little pass over to Henry. Henry stepping in, passes it back up to him. We get the quick shot. Oh, the ball goes back. And... I don't see the referee's hand up like he's going to reset it, so we've got four left on the shot clock. They'll bounce it down and make him run 200 feet if they want to get back to the offensive side of the floor. And here we come. D'Amico has it. D'Amico driving down. Nice hustle by Ben Austin, keeping him to the outside, not allowing him to get the angle. And he's still on him. Oh, he gets a screen, though, and the nice slide. Tyler Kahn slides over, beautiful play, and now Hill has the ball up top, rips the shot as the shot clock's winding down. Beautiful pickup by Seneca off the end boards. He beats his man, gets in, and gets a shot on Sprints. Ball is picked up out front by Ben Austin. Jimmy Chadwick has it now. 25 seconds left to go in the penalty to the Braves. Kyle Henry with it. Pass it up to Kent Baker Pretup, who throws it one more time over to Becker. Becker has it now. Becker to Baker print up. Becker. What a shot, Becker! Wow, and here you see, they're kind of working it around up top. He's going back and forth from Becker, gives it down to Ferguson once, back up to Becker. They're really trying to make the goalie move, and you see he gives it to him, and as he comes, he steps out to try to get the thing, and he's not quite fast enough. Beautiful goal. And I believe that was Corey Becker's first of the game. Nice goal, Becker. And now the Tomahawks leading 5-4 to four with 8.40 to go. 
And the faceoff won by the Braves. And here he comes. He just rips a quick shot. And it goes out. I don't know if that went on that. He's looking. Both the officials are looking. Nobody saw it got touched. So we're going to give the ball to the Tomahawks. Ben Woodbury started with it. We moved the ball up, and we've got Chrysler with it to Miller. Over. I don't know who 16 is. Anybody know 16? Let us know. What a check, but it doesn't matter. Oh, nice move. Yeah, that was an amazing shot. Everyone hit that like button like a thumbs up. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it all. And here comes Cam Seneca. And make sure we're all watching this on Lacrosse TV. If you've got slang, and Seneca moves in. Oh, nice safe sprint. And it bounces all the way down. Oh, you can see somebody slid across the floor there with the sweat on the polished concrete. They get a reset on the shot clock. They throw it down. Oh, he's on him, and he knocks the stick out of his hands. And it is now scooped up by the Tomahawks. Tomahawks are feeling good. Poor camera person's trying to keep up with this ball going back and forth. 200 feet doesn't sound like a lot, but it's longer than you would think. And here comes Jimmy Chadwick. Chadwick step in, hands free, takes a shot, and Abrams makes a save. Loose ball down. Chadwick almost picked it up, but instead we've got 14. D'Amico running down on a breakaway, and Spreads gets his shoulder on it. Rebound is picked up by number 15. Nice play. Still has it. Great effort. Oh, he knocked it down. What a play. Lo Is that Logan, I believe? Yes, Logan. Great job, bud. And here they come back up on the offensive side of the floor. Shadow Jonathan throws it over. We've got Vern Hill with it on the far side. Hill rips the shot, sprints with the save. Oh, and he gets run over by Gates Abrams, who gets the ball, throws it across to Ted. Oh, and he rips it, Sprints somehow holds on to that. Awesome job, Dylan Sprints. What a shot, too. Picks it over on the far side. Beautiful play. And you can really feel the pressure on him. And here comes Nick Miller down to the other side. Miller tries to throw it across, and oh, nice reach up. 16 grabs it. And Miller coming in, throws it across. He took scored the last goal, but he was not able to score this one. Go Abram shuts down Becker. Oh, look at the pressure there. Great job, Chrysler. Chrysler is very tenacious out there. He's been all over the place. Miller, you see there, staying on him, putting a ton of pressure on him. What a difference that make. Pressure will turn into diamonds or graphite, folks. Comes in, rips a shot. Sprints gets the save. Rebound picked up by Hill. Hill comes back in and oh, and Hill buries it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You see, Sprints makes a nice save. The ball on this polished concrete just goes and wow, oh, and Hill. That's so tough to be on the defense, too, because they're playing so aggressive, which makes it it's as good as it has been for them because you don't really want to tell them to back off because when they stop putting the pressure on, that makes it tough. And we're going to take a quick commercial break real quick to just mention our sponsors as they let the goalies get water. Thank you very much. That's right, part of the Bills Mafia. We are very close to Buffalo and Niagara out here. A lot of Bills fans, a lot of Bills hats kicking around. And if you get a chance to come out to the Tuscarora Nation, come out and check it out. And definitely visit the Ram High Club or Randy Smoke Shop out front of it or the gas station next to it. And he's looking for the, yes, and he was looking down to the other official. The other official tells him, we're giving the ball to Owen Hill down in that corner. Hill throws it out. Gates Abrams has it. Abrams working it on the near side. He rolls it back to Cam Seneca. Seneca takes it, throws it across to Owen Hill. Oh, he tries a little give and go with Vern Hill, not able to connect. He goes through the crease. And we're going to go the other way. Burnt Hill not very happy with the call. And we see Natowski coming up with it. And he passed it off. Ben Austin flying up the floor. Oh, fakes the pass and gives it over to 16. Make sure that they get the possession. He runs. He's giving him an outlet if he needs him. You see Ferguson running in. Ferguson runs, rips the shot, and it's soaked up by, I believe, Burnt Hill. And now the rebound is picked up by 
Anthony D'Amico, who decides to wait for the offense. Great change by the Tomahawks to get out there and make sure they shut that down. It is all tied up with a little under six minutes to go. Wow, is this Can-Am action at its finest. Ashley Sundown, you've done a great job making sure we all had the information in the rosters. Thank you very much. Nice move here. Brings it in. Pass it across. Oh, now rips the shot. It's too late, but it doesn't matter. Spread saves it anyways. I think this is the best kept secret in lacrosse. This Can-Am League is amazing. So entertaining to watch. All right. And with it all tied up, they're going to start with it. Oh, oh, Chadwick almost picked it up right out front, but Chrysler gets it. Chrysler's going in, passing it back to Chadwick. Who gives it up? One more pass to 16, a big rip. Oh, and it's trickling through, and get Baker Print up. Wow. How go Abrams? How? Nice play, go Abrams and everybody involved. And the pressure, and there goes Chrysler. Chrysler's got the loose ball. Ken Baker put up South Freddy, throws it behind the back to him. And we've got a three on three, but they decide to wait for the better numbers. Natowski sits there, passes it up. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Becker, Natowski, over to Chrysler. Chrysler rips it, go Abrams, somehow keeps that stick planted in the five hole. Nice move. They always try to get the goalie to slide, and they try to throw it in there, but you see go Abrams keeps that big wooden stick there. Slides it across. But look at this pressure. This is what I mean is the pressure that they've been putting on this team is really why I think they had the success they have it. And really only that one rebound where it took a funny bounce as it really cost them there. But here comes Abrams. Gets the screen. Hits him on the back door. Seneca. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to make a move there. You see he was on his opposite side. Goes in. Rips the shot. And does not hit it. We're going the opposite direction. 4.18 to go in the third period. Wow. And here we are working it on the far side. Jimmy Chadwick throws it up top. One more pass over to 16. 16 works in, steps, and that went off a defender. Jimmy Chadwick picks it up off the end board. 17 left on the shot clock. He hits his man on the back door. Oh, good defense slides over. You see, they keep playing even when the net dislodges. They expect the goalie to get it, and they will watch where it goes. And anywhere it crosses that line where the ref thinks it is, they will call it a goal. They don't stop every time it bounces out. Huge thank you to... Ramsey Smoke Shop behind Randy Smoke Shop. Without them, this would not be happening. And now we have Owen Hill on the far side. Throws it up to Cam Seneca. Seneca back over to Hill. Hill's looking for a cutter going through the backside. Decides to drive in. Says, my hands are free. He passes it over to eight. Oh, my goodness. And he's shut down on the doorstep. Nice job, Dylan Sprints. And here we go. Back down onto the offensive side of the floor. Jimmy Chadwick has it. Five to five, three fifteen. Oh, he tries to pass it across, hits his stick, but the defense knocks it out. Wow! They pass it in these tiny little windows, hitting guys as they're moving through, trying to catch it, and sometimes it bites you, but oh my goodness. Right down, now we have three minutes to go, and you see they are still putting the pressure on. Tuscarora staying way out on them. And you see, right now we've got a screen. Gates dives in when the slide comes over. Beautiful one-two could slide, but now Owen Hill's up top. And then we leave Seneca all alone. Nice save sprints. And oh my goodness, Bird Hill, how did you pick that up? And pass it over to Gates Abrams, who tries to be on the back. And Dylan Sprint saves it. Wow! Yeah, they know that's not going to end well. Can you pick the camera up? <laughs> Sorry, guys. We tried to set up some GoPros earlier to catch a little bit of it, but we're unable to. Wow. Yeah, everybody gets excited here, and that's what happens. And that's why I say anybody who is close enough to make it to here, to Cornerstone, CFCU, to make it to a game or any of the other Can-Am games, you have to make it to them. These are some of the best games. I mean, yeah, you can watch the NLL, and the NLL is awesome. But these guys are just as entertaining to watch. It is so much fun. Everybody's playing with heart. Everybody's playing with pride. They're playing for their nation. And some of these guys are do travel locally, but you see a lot of guys. It's a lot of pride out here, a lot of heart. This is where the medicine game came from. So they play at a different level, and thankfully they share this game with the rest of us in the world. Wow. 
Yeah, as you see, we got a lot of excited fans there. We kind of lost our view for a minute. I need the uh, camera woman to get some stilts. We can just kind of throw her up in the air, maybe a string, put it to the ceiling. There you go, hon. We'll put you in a, a harness up there. You can just spin around in circles. It'll work great. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right. So what we end up with is a power play. It looks like it's going to be five on four. I did not see who it was. I'm pretty sure I know what that was involved with, and we will take a look at that after. Hopefully. If not, tomorrow we should have most of these highlights, although we still have made it to the Battle of the Barge. So many highlights over the weekend with Can-Am and everything. Ferguson working it down low, pass it up top. Now Baker Printup has it out of the top. Over to Henry. Henry fakes and then pumps it, and it was knocked down by Vern Hill. But Cap Baker Printup picked it up. Back over to Henry. Henry steps in, rips the shot. Go Abrams, makes the save. Loose ball's down. Oh, he tries a little behind the back flip. And it makes it. Vern Hill's out of breakaway. Sprints. Oh, Owen Hill knocks the pass down. Look at that, Owen Hill. Wow. And this place is going nuts on the right side. The left side a little less. And he underhand flips it to him. And he's working around. We've got a minute 50 to go. Tied game. And look at the pressure. Miller follows him all the way out. Beautiful job. Miller's now coming down, and he's out of breakaway. Oh, go Abrams with the save. Wow. It doesn't get any better than this. This is crazy. And here we come the other way. He's running. Oh, nice defense. Beautiful play. Dan Dutowski knocks it down, and then the ball goes into the corner, and it's scooped up by leading foot. Chad leading foot comes up. And I believe we've got a timeout taken. Wow, 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 wow. It is 5-5 five to five with a minute 11 left. We're going to take a quick word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Huge shout-out to the Ram High Club. Without them, this would not be happening. We absolutely love it. If you are anywhere in the area, if you're within an hour's drive, you really owe it to yourself to get to the Tuscarora Nation and make it over to Rams High Club or... Come on over to for one of these games. Or even better, you stop at the dispensary. Then you come here. And because it's New York State, you can smoke anywhere outdoors. And then you come on into the game after you're ready. It's a great time. Absolutely love it out here. With a minute and 11 seconds left. 32 seconds left on the power play. Wow. And I have got a bunch of Braves fans next to me. I've got the whole Braves minor clubs hockey or uh, lacrosse team down here screaming every time they do something. And Cap Baker Printup has it over to Henry. Oh, he decides to rip the shot. Loose ball down front. Oh, and he lays out, but it doesn't matter. Ball's still down. Logan's trying for it. And now we've got the Braves taking a timeout. So eight seconds left to go in the penalty kill. They're going to have possession. You would imagine they're going to be able to kill that. 47 seconds left in the game. Wow. I love the end of that. Handle biz, have fun, and repeat. And that's exactly what's happening out there. It is absolutely amazing. This, this whole environment out here, they really go out of their way to make sure we have a great time. Huge shout out to James Ricard for what you do for this Tuscarora team and what you have done to get us out here. And you have made so many of these young men so happy because guys have highlights and we get to stream it and it makes everybody happy. We're spreading the game. What more could you want? Oh, I noticed we've had a couple people move our, our internet cable. We're trying the Wi-Fi today, folks. And if this all goes off without a glitch, which it has been so far, we're going to have some live courtside interviews here next time in between the quarters. Super excited for that. And being partnered with Lacrosse TV, that gives us a couple minutes. But here we go. Cam Seneca, 40 seconds left. We're now even strength. And Owen Hill starts with it. Owen Hill gets a screen from Vern Hill. Owen Hill steps in like he's going to shoot. Abrams has the ball. Goes in, shoots, and Gates Abrams buries it. Wow. And I'm sorry I had that on the small screen, but now you will get to see it on the big screen. I just got so excited. Steps in. There's like no room over there either. You see the pressure comes out and they kind of lose track of him there on the backside. He gets it and a beautiful screen set by 22. He's gonna be one of the young song heroes of the game. Cam Seneca. Beautiful play. 27 seconds left. 
Jimmy Chadwick flying down the floor. They need one to tie it. There's 20 seconds left. There's still a lot of time here. Chrysler to Miller. Nick Miller has it over to Chadwick. Chadwick running in. Hits him on the back door. Ferguson and a nice save. Go Abrams. Wow. And they picked the ball up. 10 seconds left. The ball is down. Ferguson putting pressure out of the corner. And it's picked up by Corey Becker. Becker running with a three, two. And Miller has it. Rips the shot. Oh, misses just wide right. And the Braves win the game. Oh, my goodness. The title on the Braves stay undefeated. But, wow, what a game. Oh, my goodness. Chad leading Fox Chats. I see in the chat. Oh, wow. Tusk Roar Tomahawks. This has been a, a very great performance. Oh, my goodness. We have all of these guys going absolutely nuts up here. Yeah, I have all. I think I have every Tomahawk. Or, yeah, I'm sorry. All of their fans are here from tonight. We have a ton. This is a very packed crowd. This place is amazing. I absolutely love it here. Huge shout out to everybody that runs the facility here. And as you see, there's a ton of people here from Tonawanda. It does not get any better than this. And folks, we will be back with more Can-Am Box Lacrosse action coming to you on Friday. And then Saturday, we have a special treat, which is a Junior's Bees game. And if you don't know anything about Junior B, it's where all the best players come through. You know so many guys. The Thompson brothers played for the Onondaga Red Hawks, where they run the President's Cup. You don't get much more famous than that when it comes to lacrosse, as far as I'm concerned. They are, you know, they hold a special place, and they came through this program. So this is really the future stars of the NLL. You'll see them all, and you've got some past, present, future stars. Huge shout-out to everybody involved. Huge shout-out to the Tonawanda Braves for being able to keep their undefeated streak going. Oh, my goodness. And, and as you can see, everybody is still, the Braves fans are still going nuts here. Absolutely love it. Oh, yeah. There's Crafty Beach on the camera. She runs it all. You need a personalized Christmas gift, birthday gift, anything for Father's Day, Mother's Day? She makes that. But actually, I will say right now, we are so busy filming Box Lacrosse, it'll be tough. You might be waiting a little while. Thank you very much. We really appreciate everybody for tuning in. Huge thank you to all those at Lacrosse TV for making this happen and getting this absolutely amazing league streamed on Sling Television. Thanks for our partners everywhere. We will be back Friday with more Box Lacrosse action. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night.